All those well, that right, believe, right. that choose to believe that bad behavior right, should be right. uh, rewarded. Right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What about the issue, Council Member Shabazz? Go, go take what, your medication. What about... All right, just another fun-filled day at the Sunnyside polling place with District D challenger Travis McGee engaging not so positively with incumbent Carolyn Evans Shabazz. This week, the tension and daily verbal scrapping boiled over when multiple law enforcement units were dispatched to the precinct following a confrontation between Evan Shabazz and a precinct worker. When Fox 26 arrived, the council member denied any wrongdoing and claimed she's been targeted with harassment by McGee. He's called my workers crackheads, uh, all kinds of things. He's cursed me. He's cursed them. She's always playing the victim after she done, done things like that. You know, she, 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 she have done things like that to me. I've been accused of stuff that I never did. She's brought my family into this stuff also. Panel, no one ever said democracy wasn't messy, but this degree of behavior is kind of the stuff of the elementary school playground, and sadly, it's hardly isolated. Bill, I've talked to you about uh, some of the things you've witnessed over the years. I. We live in I. I live in D. Okay. You go ahead. Okay. This is the district in which I live in, and I've lived in there for over 40 years. And this is the most heated race that we've had going back to Garnet Coleman and Judon Boney. Not Ada Edwards and Gerald Womack, because I told everybody in that particular race, Ada had done her field work and she would prevail. But he did this has been the most heated race. And I'm telling you all, the community is well divided, well divided. This is a race, I'm gonna tell y'all, I don't know who gonna win. Okay, let me, I let me tell you about hosting. I build to a crescendo, <laughs> that's why you were gonna be second, okay? Bill King, now. Now you're gonna be after that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I know both of them a little bit. I know Travis a little bit better. Travis is a barber out there and has a barber shop. I actually went out and got my hair cut during one of the campaigns. <laughs> Something I learned from Mickey Leland. If you want to know what's going on in the community, go get your hair cut right. at the local barber. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, Travis has been an advocate for how terrible District D is treated, which it is absolutely sort of the stepchild, it and B both are, at the city of Houston. And so it'll be interesting to see if his, if his message resonates. I'm going to tell you what, if he were on council, it would be quite entertaining. All right, Paul Castro, what if we brought some of this video into one of your government classes at the school? Well, I think that video and the tweet storm between Phelan and Patrick uh, are great <laughs> examples of this is broke. You know, we have a lot of things that are broken. But personally, I would rather those conversations be made out in public as they are. I think this is actually healthy for democracy. Could it be tweaked a little bit? Sure. But having people talk about the issues, as McGee was saying on video, uh, that should be happening. What Bill's saying, what Tamara's saying, those are both important. The, uh, get out there, have the conversation. This is what I would do. And if it gets a little heated, gets a little heated. I told McGee I would make it very clear that he was not in a physical confrontation with uh, Evan Shabazz. That was with a poll worker, and they were pointing at each other. Holly, your thoughts here. Well, you know, as a student of history, this is nothing new. It happens. And, and when you get closer to the end of a campaign season, people get pretty passionate and upset. And, uh, you know, I, I think we're, we'll continue to see that kind of thing. You would like to see the adults in the room have a conversation about policy. Some of us are actually still interested in the policies and uh, what we can do to make the community better rather than a lot of name calling. Gary, I'm guessing you're saying no news here. Move on. <laughs> well, uh, it, it's not a lot, of, a lot of news. What's interesting about the race is Shabazz is the incumbent, and she got pushed into a runoff. That mm -hmm. means she has political weaknesses. Tomorrow, as indicated, it's a pick em race. And I think it, it's clear that a significant number of voters in that district are not happy with the performance of the incumbent. So if you aren't, vote her out and give someone else a chance. Bill, this ever happened to you quickly? <clears throat> or no. your folks? <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything. Well... There was some, there's always some harassment of poll workers sort of getting into it at the polls and stuff, but normally it's, you know, kind of childish stuff. But um, I thought.